Kenneth Smith Lifestyle and Net Worth Kenneth Smith, born on March 8, 1965, and nicknamed The Jet, is an American sports commentator and former professional basketball player in the National Basketball Association, the NBA. He played in the NBA from 1987 to 1997 as a member of the Sacramento Kings, Atlanta Hawks, Houston Rockets, Detroit Pistons, Orlando Magic, as well as Denver Nuggets. He won back-to-back -back NBA championships with Houston Rockets. Kenny Smith played college basketball with the North Carolina Tar Heels, earning consensus first-team All-American honors as a senior in 1987. He was selected by Sacramento in the first round of the 1987 NBA draft with the sixth overall pick, and was named to the NBA All-Rookie first team with the Kings. After retiring from playing, Smith became a basketball commentator for the Emmy Award-winning Inside the NBA on TNT. He also works as an analyst for CBS Turner during the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Tournament. Kenny Smith has a net worth of approximately $22 million. During his NBA career, Kenny earned a little more than $13 million in salary alone. He is paid a salary of $4 million per year for his work as a basketball analyst for TNT. He is 6 feet 3 inches tall, which is equivalent to 1.91 meters tall. That been said, let's roll. Kenny Smith Early Life Smith was born in Brooklyn, a borough of New York City, and grew up in Queens, spending time in the Lefrak City neighborhood. He played some of his earliest basketball at New York's Riverside Church and at Stephen Halsey Jr. High School in Rigo Park, Queens. Smith attended Archbishop Malloy High School, where he was coached by Jack Curran, the high school coach with the most wins in New York City and New York State history. Smith was named a McDonald's All-American in 1983, then played basketball at the University of North Carolina for Dean Smith. Kenny Smith credits former South Carolina State star, Bobby Lewis, with his development as a shooter and ball handler. Bobby Lewis averaged 30.9 points per game and was a first-team Division II All-American as a senior at South Carolina State. He later developed the Bobby Lewis Basketball Skills Development Program, a training regimen that he presented at basketball camps around the country. Smith attended several of his lectures while in high school, and continued to use Lewis's drills throughout his basketball career, to this day teaching them at his own basketball camps. About Bobby Lewis, Smith confessed and I quote, he's the best lecturer ever. He had the best influence in terms of my workout regimen without question. Kenny Smith personal life, acting, and broadcasting career. Smith has been married twice. He has two children from his first marriage, Kayla, who is an R&B singer and KJ, a basketball player who played for the University of North Carolina, his father's alma mater, from 2018 to 2021, and is now a national basketball analyst with the website on 3.com. After divorcing his first wife, Kenny Smith met English model, Gwendolyn Osborne, in 2004 at a charity event. They married on September 8, 2006. They have two children together. Smith is also a stepfather to Gwendolyn Osborne's daughter who was born from a previous marriage. Osborne is a former model on The Price is Right. Gwendolyn Osborne filed for divorce in 2018. Kenny Smith played Leon Rich in the movie, Hustle, that was first aired in 2022, starring Adam Sandler and Juancho Hernangamas. Smith joined Turner Sports in early 1998, working as a studio analyst for end of the NBA regular season and the playoffs. Smith works with Ernie Johnson Jr., Charles Barkley, and Shaquille O'Neal on Inside the NBA, the winner of the Sports Emmy Award for Outstanding Studio Show. He covered basketball for the 2001 Goodwill Games, and he occasionally appears on NBA TV as an analyst. He provided commentary for the MSG Network's broadcasts of New York Knicks games from 2005 to 2008, and works as an analyst for CBS Turner during the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Tournament. The New York Times has written that Smith's work in broadcasting has made him a household name, significantly boosting his public celebrity beyond what he had during his playing career. During the 2010 NBA All-Star Weekend, 
Smith was a member of the Texas team that won the Shooting Stars competition. While on the Scoop B radio podcast in 2017, Smith told Brandon Scoop B. Robinson that the 1994 Houston Rockets would have beaten Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls had they faced each other in the NBA Finals. Anyway, I can't tell if this would have been true if they faced each other in that final. On the August of 26, 2020 edition of Inside the NBA, Smith left the set as a show of solidarity with the six teams that elected to boycott the day's games in response to the shooting of Jacob Blake. The live broadcast, originally scheduled to lead into a doubleheader, was turned into a panel discussion of racial injustice in America after the announcement of the game's postponements. In October 2022, Kenny Smith signed a long-term contract extension with Warner Brothers Discovery Sports to continue as a host on Inside the NBA. Kenny Smith International and College Career Smith represented the United States in the 1986 FIBA World Championship, on a team that included David Robinson, Muggsy Bogues, and Steve Kerr. He was second on the team in scoring behind Charles Smith with 14.7 points per game. He scored 23 points to lead the U.S. to an 87-85 win and were presented with the gold medal over a Soviet Union team that featured Arvida Sabonis. Putting that aside and focusing on his college career, Kenny Smith joined junior Michael Jordan and senior Sam Perkins, on a North Carolina team that was a preseason number one and finished the season ranked number one with a 28-3 record. Smith averaged 9.1 points and 5.0 assists per game, but the Tar Heels lost to Indiana in the regional semifinals of the 1984 NCAA tournament. He had led North Carolina to the Elite Eight in 1985, losing to eventual national champion Villanova. Smith was named a consensus All-American, first team, as senior in 1987, averaging 16.9 points and 6.1 assists per game, while helping North Carolina to return to the Elite Eight. Playing in a game that featured 11 future NBA players, Smith led the Tar Heels with 25 points and 7 assists in a loss to Syracuse, 79-75. During his career at North Carolina, he averaged 12.9 points and 6.0 assists per game. As of 2016, he ranked second in school history in total assists, 768, fourth in total steals, 195, and fifth in assists per game. Smith helped North Carolina to a record of 115-22 from the 1983-1984-1986-1987 seasons, including two Elite Eight appearances, that is 1985 and 1987, and a Sweet 16 appearance in 1986. They won the Atlantic Coast Conference, ACC, regular season conference championships in 1984 and 1987, and tied for first in 1985. North Carolina never finished lower than eighth in the national polls during Smith's four years at the school. In 1996, Kenny Smith signed with the Detroit Pistons. He played only nine games with the Pistons before he was waived. He then signed with the Orlando Magic for the 1996-1997 season, who then released him after only six games. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such interesting content.